If I could only eat one from one pizza place for the rest of my life, I think I would have to say it would be Lucali. Why do you think so many people flock here? I'm still trying to figure that out. This is Mark Iacono. He opened Lucali in 2006. Since then, pizza fans from all over the world have been flocking to his restaurant, even some celebrities. What do you think is the best pizza in Brooklyn? This is something uh, people talk about a lot. Lucali's by far. Lucali's, okay. Yeah. Every afternoon at 5 p.m., hopeful diners wait in line anywhere from two to four hours to put their names down on the list for the night. They s start taking names at five, they finish around 5.45, and that's it, we're booked. We don't have a reservation policy. We're a really small restaurant. We only have 10 tables. We're open four hours a night. You know, it has to be, you know, more, one person gets up, the next person has to be waiting to sit down. So what makes Mark's Pizza so legendary? No, I had no culinary experience. It wound up being that, like, I figured it out as I went along. As I went along. Like I said, I had zero experience. You know, I really didn't know the science behind it. I didn't understand, like, yeast and how it worked and the effects it had on the dough and the proofing times. Mark figured out how to make a delicious pizza, and the restaurant's history is just as rich as his food. I was born and raised here. I still live here. I lived here my whole life. And, uh, you know, this, the pizzeria we stand in today, was uh, an old candy store that I grew up in, that, I, that my dad would bring me and my brothers here, Louis Candy Store. After Louis passed away, his wife Rosemary put the place up for rent. Mark decided to sign the lease. Since opening, Lucali gradually built a strong base of fans. Well, we don't have much, you know, it's just pizza and calzone. You know, joking around, you know, we, we, we're always, you know, goofing with the customers. Pizza and calzone, leave them alone. That's all he makes. To get a better idea of what makes Lucali pizza so great, I had to step into the kitchen and learn how Mark makes his pizza. Jesus, my pizza making skills are so subpar. You gonna roll dough? I'll do whatever you want uh -huh. me to do. You want a lot of flour. And you want to kind of start almost from the center and roll out. Is there a reason why you use a wine bottle instead of a rolling pin? Yes, because I don't know how to make pizza. As I mentioned earlier, I never made pizza before. And it was the very beginning. I was probably open a week. And, um, and I screwed the dough up. People were screaming at me. They wanted their pizza. I was really slow at the time. I, I, I didn't understand. I was like, why won't it stretch? So I called my brother, I was like, who lives right around the block, and I was like, Bring me grandma's rolling pin, hurry up. And he just took forever, so I just grabbed a wine bottle and just started rolling it out with a wine bottle. And, and it just stuck. Don't put too much thought into it. I think that see, is See, it's my coming answer. perfect. Okay. You're doing a great job. And then, and then like spread your hands, hold it up, see what you got. Perfect, you're done. Please. Look, you stretched the perfect dough. You make it look so easy. I, I made thousands of these things. I drop it right in the center, the whole thing. Okay, now with the bottom, you wanna just make, go ahead, grab it. You're gonna mm -hmm. do a little circle, and just let the, like, you know, like you're making a spiral. Push it out. Yeah. After working here a month, your forearms will be like puppets. Yeah, I can't relate. But me working out, I do is... Eating. To, yes. And we just dollop it everywhere? Well, yeah, you, you, you're, not, you're not slam dunking basketball. <laughs> it's a gingerly place. Yeah, it down. just throw it on. That's it. You're done. You did an amazing job. You're so kind. No, no, you really did. You know you did. Yeah, I think it's an even distribution. After that, the pizza goes into the oven and is topped with Parmigiano Reggiano and fresh basil. People have been coming here, and, and, I, and I think because it's so hard to get in here, they have the pizza, and they don't want to waste the experience on a calzone, and like, I'll send the calzone over. They don't order the pizza anymore. Now they just order the calzone. And now, the moment you've been waiting for, the eating portion of this video. I never thought that this moment would come. I have tried coming into Lucali's so many times and I just haven't nailed the tactic yet. I think I need to come a little early and to have the pizza made by Mark himself is just almost too good to be true. This is everything that I want in a pizza. So good. 
Normally, I have something to say after the first bite, but I truly don't want it to end. So I'm gonna talk to you after I finish this slice. It's like just the perfect pairing of flavor. It's not bad. When you say it's not bad, that's like truly the biggest understatement of the year. Mm -hmm.